Good evening, and welcome to the Camden Opera House. I'm Dave Morrison, the Opera House Manager. It is so great to have you with us tonight. I want to thank you for helping us to present live performances by wearing your masks in the building and by honoring the spaced seating. Thank you. Tonight's soundcheck program, like all of our live stream events, is supported by your donations to the Community Arts Fund. This is how we pay the artists. You can keep this series going by donating at camdenoperahouse.com, and you may have received something from us in the mail. If you've already donated, thank you so much. I also want to thank tonight's sponsor, The First, who've been a wonderful partner for this series. We have some great shows coming up for the, at the end of this year. Next Friday is a Cat Stevens tribute featuring Tom DeMena. On November 19th, Boston's Wolf Sisters Band. On December 10th, Louisa Stanchioff and the beloved Lunasa Irish Christmas is on Saturday, December 18th. So we hope to see you at one of those shows, or all of those shows. Finally, I want to thank the Opera House staff. Juniper, Dagny, Beth, and Matt, all our great volunteers. We couldn't do it without them. We're lucky to have such a great crew. Tonight, we are about to take part in something unique and beautiful and timely. The artists have asked that you hold your applause till the end of the performance for the sake of the flow of the performance. Presented by Catherine Oliver and Christy Williamson with Elsie Goller and the work of local artists, please enjoy Honey in the Heart. Last night, as I was sleeping, I dreamt, marvelous error, that I had a beehive here inside my heart, and the golden bees were making white combs and sweet honey from my old failure. People are going back and forth across the door sill where the two worlds touch. The door is round and open. Don't go back.
come, let's speak of our souls. Let's even hide from our ears and eyes. Like a rose garden, always keep a smile. Like imagination, talk without a sound. Like the spirit reigning the world, telling the secrets, uttering no word. Let's get away from all the clever humans who put words in our mouth. Let's only say what our hearts desire. Even our hands and feet sense every inner move. Let's keep silent but make our hearts move. The mystery of destiny knows the life of speck after speck of dust. Let's tell our story as a particle Today, like every other day, I wake up empty and frightened. Don't open the door to the study and begin reading. Take down a musical instrument Let the beauty we lost be what we do. Self, a resting place in my 
to see the whole place swimming in roses. God of heaven, there's nothing like nature. With the wild mountains and the sea and the waves rushing, then the beautiful fields of wheat and oat and all kinds of things would do your heart good to see rivers and lakes and flowers, all sorts of smells and shapes and colors, springing up even out of the ditches, primroses and violets. Nature. It is as for them to say there's no God. I wouldn't give a snap of my two fingers for all their learning. Why don't they go out and try to create something? Ah, yes. I know them well. Who was the first person in the universe? Before there was anybody who made it all, who? Ah, yes, that they don't know. Well, uh, neither do I. After all, they might as well try to stop the sun from rising tomorrow. The sun shines for you, he said. Yes. Yes, so we are all flowers, all a woman's body. Yes, that was one true thing he said in his life. And the sun shines for you. Let me tell you a little secret. Hold on, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Everything in the universe began with a yes. One molecule said yes to another molecule and life was born. Yes, 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 said the bees. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, said the flowers. Yes, 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 said the sun. Yes. Those of you who don't feel this love pulling you like a river, those who don't drink dawn like a cup of spring water, or take in sunset like supper. Those who don't want to change, let them sleep. This love is beyond the study of theology. That old trickery and hypocrisy. If you want to improve your mind that way, sleep on. I've given up on my brain. I've torn the cloth to shreds and thrown it away. If you're not, Completely naked. Wrap your beautiful robe of words around you and sleep.
All summer I heard them rustling in the shrubbery, outracing me from tier to tier in my garden. A whisper among the viburnums, a signal flashed from the hedgerow, a shadow pulsing in the barbary thicket. Now that the nights are chill, and the annual spent, I should have thought them gone in a torpor of blood slipped to the netherworld before the sickle frost. Not so. In the deceptive balm of noon, as if defiant of the curse that spoiled another garden, this one appears on show through a narrow slit in the dense green brocade of a north country spruce, dangling head down, entwined in a brazen love knot. In an outstretched vine, I put out my hand and stroke the fine, dry grit of her skin. in this land, 
co-signers of a covenant. At my touch, the wild blade of creation trembles. shelled seed, awaiting the fire or the flood that awakens it again. Never quite know which direction it'll take you. With one foot on the ground and one foot in the clouds, with one eye open and one eye closed, bitter cold will burn you, poison will heal you, and my dreams become my life, for my life is but a dream. Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Awake! Shake dreams from your hair, my pretty child my sweet one, choose the day and choose the sign of your day, the day's divinity. First thing you see, the music and voices are all around us, choose Broken up and 
and dances. of the world. Gently, gently, they whisper. Be quiet. The secret cannot be spoken, for it is wrath. What makes the engine go? Desire? Desire, desire, the longing for the dance stirs in the buried light. What makes the engine go? Desire, desire, desire. What makes the engine go? Desire, desire, desire. What makes the engine go? Desire, desire. 
Now I think it is true to say of the road, but also of God, that it doesn't move, and at the same time, it is everywhere. It has a language, but not one I know. It has a story. I am in it, and so are you. And to realize this is a moment of some sadness. When we are denied a story, 
a light goes off. I am asking you to study the dark. Once upon a time, there was an unhappy kingdom. The king and queen who ruled this land desperately wanted a child, but could not conceive. They summoned the wise crone who lived deep within the forest. She advised the queen on the old forest magic and what she must do to fulfill her wish. You must breathe your desires into the palms of your hands and place them on the ground. From that earth, two flowers will grow, one white, one red. You must eat the white flower, but under no circumstances must you eat the red one. Then you will bear a healthy child. But the queen was unable to resist eating the red flower too. We must tell no one, pleaded the queen, and the king agreed. By the next full moon, she was pregnant. They soon forgot all about the transgression. On the day of the birth, though, the unspeakable happened. The queen gave birth to a serpent, which was immediately caught and flung in horror through the window and slithered off into the forest. The serpent was quickly followed by a healthy baby boy. And for a while, the kingdom was happy. But when the boy grew to become a man, his serpent brother came to him from the deepest part of the forest, demanding his rightful place in the kingdom. The hunter's bow, it took me down, cut and threw my horns away. My knees are down below me, but I'm thinking of another way. Shadows me. 
like the opening and closing of we. Dig deep and down, dig deep and down, beyond the soil, beyond the ground. Dig deep and down, dig deep and down, beyond the soil. Water does near thunder as the well when plates of earth move, or the tree when fifty birds leave at once. The wild call says we've been given a gift, but it's not the gift of this world. There is a seed. Still hidden, that feeds many. in this story and feel the whole web ripple. Invisible threads weaving and weaving and weaving. So where are we on this journey, you might ask? Ah, close your eyes to see. Do you smell that? Roses on the wind. Oh, I desire to press into my arms the sweetness which has not yet arrived. 
I dreamed of a song I heard it sung in the ear of my soul, its strange notes rung. What were these words? I could not tell. Only the voice I heard right well. For its tones unearthly, my spirit bound in a calm delirium of mystic sound, held me floating alone and high in desert places that thirst and a sigh. Poetry, even when apparently most fantastic, is always a revolt against deception. For it speaks to that part of us that has lost the simple intuitions. Sometimes I dream up things and write them down. It's usually nonsense, but Sometimes it's a kind of key to another world. <laughs> Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild? and precious life. Once upon a time, there was a lonely hunter. One evening, returning to his hut over the snow, he saw smoke coming from his chimney when he entered the shack, he found a warm fire, a hot meal on the table, and his threadbare clothes washed and dried. There was no one to be found. The next day, he doubled back early from hunting by following the river. Sure enough, there was again smoke from the chimney and he caught the scent of cooking. When he cautiously opened the door, he found a fox pelt hanging from a peg and a woman with long red hair and green eyes adding herbs to a pot of meat. He knew in the way that hunters know that she was fox woman dreaming that she had walked clean out of the other world. I am going to be the woman of this house, she told him. The hunter's life changed. There was laughter in the hut, someone to share in the labor of crafting a life. And in the warm dark when they made love, it seemed the edges of the hut dissolved in the vast green acres of the forest and stars. Over time, the pelt started to give off its wild, pungent scent. A small price, you would think. But the hunter started to complain. The hunter could detect it on his pillow, his clothes, even on his own skin. His complaints grew in number until one night the woman nodded just once, her eyes glittering. In the morning she and the pelt and the scent was gone. It is said to this day the hunter waits by the door of his hut, gazing over the snow, longing 
for the fox woman. Last night, we took off our fox skins and danced for hours, stomping our feet on the old rug. We were sand heaps breaking up in someone else's hands. 
It was when we sang the same four bars over and over that we gradually went mad on one precious foot that was never put down. We couldn't tell for a minute where the doors were or where the corners were. We didn't know if it was our crying or somebody else's that filled the room. What good will any of this dancing do for anyone? Oh, it's nothing. It will never do any good. It's as precious as a hundred hours of prayer. Costing not less than everything.
this talk, talk, talk. It seems like the more we talk, the further away from truth we get. After all, isn't there a time to just shut up? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. When you reach the end of your exhausted understanding and that once bright flame in the heart barely flickers, and the story you have been told and the one you've been telling yourself are no longer working. And using them as your compass, you have nowhere further to go. And just maybe you need help from a source outside the typical means. The idea has often been offered as a kind of comfort that history repeats itself, that what is happening now has happened many times before. Civilizations rise and fall, ice ages, dark ages come and go, that this is not the first time in human history when people's minds have been disconnected from their bodies. That we should therefore be patient, keep the faith, we are marching towards progress. But what if this moment this contemporary condition of which we are at the fingertips, this precise flavor of disassociation is unique. What if it has never existed before? At this point, you may think, we just need to update the system, advance our technologies, invent a new map. It will show us a way through and be a comfort in which we can all gather. But if we are truly honest with ourselves, 
Perhaps we should acknowledge the poverty of an imagination not yet sufficiently wise. As modern human beings, anxious and in love with the notion of conquering our problems, it may not be mastery or ingenuity that is required to replenish our imaginations. It might simply be the honesty of listening. Dum, dum, da, da, dum, 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 da, 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 dum, dum, da, da, dum, 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 da, 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 dum, dum, da, da, dum, 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 da, 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 dum, dum, da, da, dum, 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 We dream, we dance, we pray, and somehow we get there. Or stay asleep as life goes passing by and we go nowhere. To go into the dark with a light is to know the light. To know the dark, go dark, go without sight. And find that the dark too blooms and sings and is traveled by dark feet and wings. And the darkness shall be the light And the stillness the dead sea What if all the dragons in our lives are here to see us act just once with beauty and courage? Perhaps everything that frightens us is in its deepest essence something helpless that wants our love. Today, like every other day, we wake up empty and frightened, don't open the door to the study and begin reading, take down a musical instrument, let the beauty we love Be what we do. There are hundreds of ways to kneel 
and kiss the ground. Father, earthly mother, divine seer that sees, create me again, take me in your hand, bring out what's inside of me. Guide me in these times while war is being waged on my family. Oh, oh. make me an instrument of song that I might learn harmony. become the woman I am meant to be. Give me strength, keep on walking even when I cannot see, and I will carry the torch from those who have come before to those who have yet to be. that I might pass on harmony. Anchor into me the rhythm of living love, song in which I can believe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, mama. Last night, as I was sleeping, I dreamt marvelous error, that I had a beehive here inside my heart, and the golden bees were making white combs and sweet honey from my old failures. Last night, as I was sleeping, I dreamt marvelous error, that it was God I had here inside my heart. Come, come, whoever you are, wanderer, worshiper, lover of leaving, it doesn't matter, ours is not a caravan of despair. Come, even if you have broken your vows a thousand times, come, yet again, come, come.
Come, come, honey bee, come, my love. Come, my honey bee, my honey love. Come, come, honey bee, come, my love. Come, my honey bee, my honey love. Oh, my sweet lover's home, sweeter than the honey and the comb. Oh, my sweet lover's home, sweeter than the honey and the comb. Come, come, honey bee, come, my love. Come, my honey bee, my honey love. Come, come, honey bee, come, my love. Come, my honey bee, my honey Thank you all so much for coming out tonight. I wanted to acknowledge our stage hands, Heather and Jenny, who made this happen behind the scenes. Thank you so much. We want to thank the Camden Opera House. Thank you, Juniper, up in the lighting. Thank you. Where Catherine is. I also want to share with you that Honey in the Heart is a seed project. Um, it's a seed that we would love to continue growing past this evening. So we are offering a crowdfunder to generate resources to help us take the next step. And to learn more about this, you can visit um, our information in our program, or you can also go to our Facebook page. But we just are so grateful to have you. And I know Catherine's trying to make her way down. Here she is. That's it. So we are just so grateful. Thank you so much for making it out tonight. Blessings. Okay. Oh.